Hey y'all, today I'm going to be looking at flicking games. Flicking board games. So, the top rated flicking board game on Board Game Geek is currently Crokinol at 59th place of all board games. So, that would be the number one flicking board game. What it's about, you're just flicking the your color of disc, trying to make it into the middle. The closer you get to the middle, the more points you'll receive. If you make it all the way to the middle, then you are actually going to receive 20 points. And every single time you flick, you have to hit one of your opponent's pieces before you uh, do anything else. You can actually bounce uh, your piece into another of your pieces as long as somewhere in the collisions you actually like hit an opponent's piece. If none of your opponent's pieces are on the board, you just flick right into the middle. Really clever game and uh, pretty simple actually how they planned that one out. So Crokinole would be the number one on Board Game Geek and probably is my number one favorite flicking game of all time. Um, got a Crokinole board at my house. Really enjoy playing that and pulling that out. Next up we have Catacombs. So this is going to be uh, another flicking game, but it's about you are adventurers going into a dungeon, or you are the dungeon lord of the dungeon with a bunch of minions. And you go through, I think, like four different rooms, and the heroes need like ten hits to be taken out. So you're flicking your little goblins around if you're the bad guy, flicking them into your opponents, uh, the, the heroes, and just knocking their health down. Whereas, unless you have a really big monster, all your monsters only need one hit to be taken out. But you have a lot of them, so just a horde of goblins rushing the heroes, and then you're getting taken out. Um, so, in the end, you have a big boss monster who's about as strong as one of the heroes, but you're fighting four heroes. So, that kind of evens it out. There's spells you can cast. You can uh, use your turn instead of flicking, or maybe you flick and... Yeah, you flick, move, and then you use an attack. So you could flick again just to do a normal attack, or you could pull out an arrow and put an arrow right next to your piece and flick that into your opponents. Really enjoy Catacombs as just uh, an amazing game. Probably my number two favorite flicking game. So uh, I guess Pitch Car and Tumbling Dice have it beat on Board Game Geek, but Catacombs would be my number two. Next up, we got Ice Cool. So Ice Cool is about a high school of penguins and what you're going to do is one penguin is a hall monitor you take turns being the hall monitor actually uh, over a series of rounds and in a round one hall monitor is trying to tag the other penguins and you're flicking these penguins around and they're shaped just like that like uh, what's known as a weebo and uh, with those you can actually even flick the head down into the ground to bounce the penguins it's really fun little tricks you can do and you're trying to go through underneath doorways that have fishes if you're not the hall monitor to collect fishes and if you are the hall monitor you're trying to catch people and you're rewarded for a fish each time you catch somebody super great game and i'd put that as my number three right under catacombs next up we have terror in meeple city so that is um that game uh is about you're flicking these discs and all the discs, when it's not your turn, you'll put a monster on them. And then when it is your turn, you take the monster off, you flick the disc, and then you put the monster back on. Also, you can do different abilities, but knocking down your opponent's monster makes them lose a life. Uh, maybe you don't hit them hard enough and they don't uh, get knocked down. There's also special abilities, like uh, this game could never be played in COVID times, because you can, uh, after you move, you can do an attack, and one of the attacks is you put your chin on top of one of the pieces and you blow and you can blow uh try to try and knock down all the other monsters but you only get one breath so it's like you know just spitting and it's, like it's terrible but uh you're trying to get like a lot of air and that's one of like like 20 different creative attacks that they have there's one where you uh if you're nearby a building you can pick up your monster and drop it on that building, and meeples fall out. It's a point-based game, so you're, you're gathering points from the different sets of meeples you eat, um, trying to get different colors. So, next up, we have Ice Cool 2, which is just like the normal Ice Cool, so I won't go into it too much, but just so you know, there is that option for Ice Cool 2. I think the really only difference 
is with two boxes you're able to combine them and also i'm trying to think in the original you the ones if you combined two ones together you could you would be able to do like a double flick i think you could get an extra turn um but because when you get a fish you draw one two or three fish uh points of fish you draw a card and it's got one two or three it's sad if you get a two but a three is really high in points the ones can give you that special ability of if you have two ones you get an extra turn well ice cool two uh allows you to do trick shots with those those one cards and if you per successfully perform a trick shot you get a reward or something so i like ice cool two a little bit better i would say but i had to explain ice cool one first makes sense so next up flick them up dead of winter check out my top five zombie board game video flick them up dead of winter is just like dead of winter but you're flicking pieces around instead of rolling dice and uh running away from zombies with uh with dice you're actually um like all, all these games are going to be flicking pieces around attacking things i think in this one you can you can put something next to you similar to how catacombs was where you know you're flicking maybe an arrow next to you you could also flick a bat i believe i think there's a bat in uh some zombie types of uh movies walking or shows walking dead but uh so you flick a bat or you flick uh usually bullets um and then the zombies they the way they attack you is after enough zombies are killed there's like some mechanism where you put the zombies on top of a tower that has the top can uh can deploy and, or detach and then drops all the zombies down the tower and they run out kind of they spill out onto the board and uh like little lego pieces dropping they'll just scatter and if they hit your people then you got bit by a zombie which is detrimental so sometimes you're playing on teams against the zombies uh, and sometimes you're playing against each other, but there's always the threat of zombies attacking you as like a kind of a non-player character element to the game. I really enjoy Flick 'em Up Dead of Winter. And sometimes I would like to play that more than the other ones, but for the most part, this follows the, the order that I've set. Tumbling Dice, uh, that one was uh, 787th place on Board Game Geek, if, if that matters, just above Catacombs, but... It's all right. I've enjoyed it, but it's really random. But it's kind of fun rolling these dice down this uh, this board. Actually, the first two time or first time I played tumbling dice uh, was at a, a a convention in Colorado, where they had uh, a bunch of crokinoles tables set up and a bunch of tumbling dice tables set up. And yeah, really enjoyed both those, and that got me into the idea of like dexterity games. Um, I don't know why this one's considered a flicking game because you could roll these. Um, perhaps I could be wrong. Maybe maybe you are supposed to flick them off the top. But um, it's it's worth it to be included in this top flicking games list. So, what are your favorite flicking games? Tell me in the comments below. And if you like this video, please. Uh, click the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks so much and um, have a great day.